this is climate change. And then this, this goes into the garbage and garbage. Increases, increases our landfill. Yes, it's garbage. It's a waste of money and time. Use technology. Hey guys, I'm Joe. And I'm Jordan. And we're just two guys talking. 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 Um, um, you know what, before you go into it, I just want to... I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I've been wearing shirts. This is like a subliminal advertisement. I like to push that. Mm. Like, a, like they're not paying me. I'm just doing this on my own for myself. So you're not being sponsored. I'm not being sponsored by 8080. Far oh. from it. No, I just mm. been buying so much of this stuff because it's actually good quality. I mean, so it's kind of. So if you see this shirt, I'm so you've seen this. If you actually want to go buy it, I, I have like four of them. A, at the end of your order, you get an option to buy this particular shirt for 30 bucks, huh. and I buy it. So. What's 8080? 8080 is a is a clothing unite. They're actually based in Utah. Okay. And they make clothing, high quality clothing, oh. t-shirts and stuff like this. Little expensive on on expensive side, but it's quality stuff. It's all made here. Do everything in house. They don't send anything to China. Oh. Everything is here a hundred percent. Utah. In Utah, yes. Oh. I have five of them. Okay. <laughs> I have bought it five times oh. just so because I give them away. I right. give them away to people. Right. I have another one upstairs, actually. I just got it two days ago. So today, Joe, you know what I want to talk about? Mm, I do not. I'm intrigued. Junk mail. Oh, shit. But very specific junk mail. I actually got, I got one. Oh, okay, very specific. Okay. So I got, I got, I got, I got two pieces of junk mail from two different politicians. And I want to talk about the different kind now. This is from a woman, I assume she's a woman, her, her name is Rebecca, maybe I shouldn't make that assumption, from a person named Rebecca Casse for New York State Assembly. And this is what I got. Now, feel this paper. Oh, wow. High quality. High Thick. quality. Now, not sustainable. Like, like all this stuff is ending in, oh, in the garbage. There we go. Know? So you, you know, all, yeah. all these are ending in the garbage. So it's like, if oh, you're talking about sustainability. It came from Albany. Albany, Where'd, where'd that one come from? This one came from Congress of the United States, Washington, wow. D.C. So he's, he's doing something different? I guess. Oh, I know who he is. But I, I want to talk about this a okay. little bit. Okay, all right. So, first of all... They could take this stuff and, and you know, we could get I, all this I, I stuff get on, on my cell phone. phone. I get a ton of it. If you are, if you truly are a climate, um, if you truly want, you truly care about the climate and you truly care about sustainability, we can't have any more of this stuff, right? It's a waste. It's a waste. But I want to read Save a Save a tree. Go digital. Yeah. But I want to read <laughs> what, I want to read what Rebecca Casey can say put on hers, and I want to compare and contrast this uh, but I bet Congressman Nick. Yeah, but are they both, both going for the same position? No, but they're both politicians, okay. so I, I want to get at something. Okay. Okay. Long Island has reached a pivotal moment. We need a strong voice in Albany. Now, strong voice in Albany is in a blue, bold-faced color. To take our district and state through unprecedented challenges. Are you going to get a, no, you say an blue. assembly? Is she, is she Democrat? When you I, say blue? No, no, this is like bold face type. Oh, so, bold, okay. So it's bold. So You so said the, blue, actually. So the idea of a strong voice in Albany, she, she might think, no, we want a weak voice. We want a weak voice. So <laughs> make it clear that she's str strong voice, because of course we want a weak voice. Okay. Let's see what other BS. So what are they saying, that we have a weak voice now? <laughs> Instead of politicians who focus on divisive rhetoric, we deserve a proactive leader. Okay, that I buy. That I do buy. Who is ready to represent the voices of their community and put people over politics. I don't like the divisive terms like climate denier or data denier or, you know, those divisive terms that, I mean, it does seem like, 
Like they global never, warming? Well, well, like a climate denier, an election Look. denier. These are, these are divisive terms, you know. Instead of talking about the issues, you label the person a climate denier or an election denier or a data denier instead of focusing on the issues. Oh, wow. Now, would she really do that? I don't know. Put people over politics. Okay, maybe. So, I believe in the great potential of good governance. Maybe we wanted bad governance? Is that what she's trying to get at? So, most of this is just fluff writing. Yeah, it's, you know? a, it's play on words. And the importance of representatives who bring practical local experience to decision making in Albany. And that's why I'm running. So basically, I got almost nothing out of this. <laughs> Unless she's really going to be like, okay, I'm going to stop using words like climate denier and data denier. And what was the other one that I said? The other denier? Oh, election denier. Yeah, election. Yeah, but th these all photos are all staged, by the way. Yeah, of course. So... No, so one, no one looks this, at these. This is absolute. This contributes to climate change. This is such expensive. Yeah, I'd like to know how much you paid for this. Such a waste. Rebecca, can you give us a cost on, on, on printing this and sending it out? Just send and, it. And how, it, many, how many districts did you send it to? Make a TikTok channel. Make, I'm sure she already has one. You know, do something on the cell phone. Target it, you know, and the young people love their cell phones. But this is this contributes to climate change. It's unsustainable. Oh, well. And so, they, so she wants to tackle the cost of living crisis, work with our, our law enforcement to improve maintenance and uh, ma maintain public safety. So she's not for uh, defunding the police. That's good. Expand mental health care access and defend a woman's right to choose. I, uh, like, the, I like the mental health part. Yeah. Because but, if mental health... Here, here's the thing, Joe. I feel if... If and women have good access to mental health counseling... Well, not just women, anyone. Well, I want to talk about the woman's right to choose. So, well, like, like, should abortion be a method of birth control? What happens or? if a man wants to have an abortion? He deserves mental health as well. You, don't, you, you can't rule that person out. Even though the woman has the right to choose, the mental health still goes on the, on the father. Right, right. No? He's like, well, he don't matter? No, no, he matters. And so when you said a man have an abortion, no, no. there was... No, no, well, well they, they can, um, right? I know what you were getting at. So I was, <laughs> I, was waiting, I was waiting for you to say something else. But um, Transgender. But... <laughs> so anyway, and then, and I want to make, go off on that. Protect our environment, open space, and water quality. Okay, but this doesn't protect our environment because this ends up in the garbage. This right. is garbage. Yeah, and it and, put and it, it on the cell phone and it inflates or make it send it as an email. Yeah, I'm sure you have access to email then addresses. This is climate change, and then this, this goes into the garbage and garbage. Increases, increases our landfill. Yes, it's garbage. It's a waste of money and time. Use technology. Uh -oh. Joe Tech can help you with that. <laughs> yeah, you know, right. For a little money, right? Yeah, for no, I wouldn't. Now let's do Congressman Nick Lalota because I liked his more. So he gets right into actually talking about some stuff he believes in. So it goes right away to secure America's border. So there's no way he can control that. Maybe not, but it's at impossible. Least. Has nothing to do with him. Has nothing to do with him. So Congressman, he's for the Long Island. How he's going to protect our border? That's in Texas. <laughs> or in Florida, which have a border for Cuba. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Well, don't we have, um, I want to oh, make California, sure. right? California goes down with, for Mexico. So I want to get this straight. So I, I, I want to use the proper terminology so it's not ha hate speech. So the individuals who come from other countries and go from that country into our country through our border, some of those people... Um, end, cats, up, eat, end up in New York. Yeah, and eat cats and dogs. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I know, I know. Edit I, that out. I Edit know. that out. So, end up in New York. So, I, I don't know if I'm using language right, but does New York have a border? Like, in other words, if somebody comes from a country... Canada. And they come illegally from that country and they cross through the border in, let's say, hypothetically, the Arizona border... 
But no, that's then, not, that's, no. Because they're already in the United States. It's, we're going from one country to another, not from one state to another. So it would be from Canada to New York State. Oh, okay. So when he says to secure America's border, he's not talking about New York, even though he's the congressman. Correct. He's just, he's making a statement that he has no control over. He's saying the Biden and Harris administration should reserve course and what? Course and support the 64 Trump era border policies that President Biden ended. But he has no control over that. Doesn't he have voting control? Doesn't he vote as a congressperson? Yeah, but a congressman, he's he's a congressman. He's not a Senate. He's, he's not he's not part of the Senate. Right. Congress, yeah. they're only, congressmen are only local to Long Island. So he has no ability. Same thing with her. She doesn't have any ability to do anything either. She's a, oh, assembly. she's New York State Assembly. So that's, might be a little, that's higher than him. Oh, really? Yeah, Congressman is... Because she said almost nothing on this. Yeah, but and he's saying a lot more than her. I feel like Nick LaLota has actual information on this that does tell me who he is. So he has three solutions. L listen to what... So yeah, this... But he's going to just propose this, but he has, again, no... He has no bearing on the outcome. Oh, Zero. Okay. He's just giving you what you want to read. Oh, okay. There's no way. How can a congressman make <laughs> a different state do what he says? Well, look at that beautiful picture. It looks like he's with someone in the military. Yeah. Right? It's a, look at this beautiful picture. Uh, and and I do, I, even though I like this one much more, it still should be sent to our technology. Yeah. This what, still is a waste. Right now, this is the, is the crisis. Yeah. All right. This is the crisis. So he's focusing on this to get his for us to vote for him. Mm. It, he has no control over it. None. Zero. Hmm. <laughs> if if if, uh, if Biden and and Kamala, I forgot her name all of a sudden because she's very forgetful, um, can't control it. How is a assemblyman? Up from Long Island, going to make a difference. Congressman. Regardless, congressman, congressman, excuse me, congressman, going to make a difference if the people who are the top <laughs> right now can't even control it. So he's he has solutions. Yeah, but he can't do anything about it. Let's hear what his solution number one is. And I'm way more impressed with Nick Lolota's like. Like, even though I think this is still garbage in the sense that it should be sent to technology and not, you know, just crumpled up and thrown in landfills. I'm going to burn this in my... Uh, I read this, and I, I, I think that this is actually... You know, this Let's is hear pretty solution good. number one. Okay, President Biden must immediately reverse the 64 executive actions that have weakened our border security. Reinstate the Remain in Mexico policy, end the reckless mass parole program, and resume construction of the border wall. A simple stroke of the pen can restore order and safeguard our nation. He's saying something here. Yeah, He's right. actually saying something. Yes, here. he is. This might be upside down. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, he is saying something, but that's common knowledge. We've been saying that forever. He's repeating what everybody else has okay. been saying. So he has another solution. Listen to this. The U.S. Senate must act without delay to debate and pass H.R., that's House of Representatives, that I know, H.R. 2, which the House approved in May 2023, which my vote, listen, with my vote, he said with my vote, compel the Biden administration to replace lax policies with strict enforcement, mandate the asylum eligibility be reserved only for those who enter the U.S. through designated ports of entry, I like that, and impose tougher penalties on individuals who overstay their visas. Passing H.R. 2 is essential to restoring the rule of law at our borders. That's He's a, getting specific. Yeah, but that's was the law when Trump was in, in office. Okay. That's the typical border law. Oh, okay. In other words, you got to come in here legally, essentially what that is. He just he just used fancy words. Right, but she's kind of not really saying much. No, she, she don't give a shit about the border. He does. Yeah. 
Like, I don't, you know. Any, she's more, well, she, she did say that. She says that here. Where did uh, she say that? Or maybe he just has a better writer than her, you know? Yeah, well, she didn't write it. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's what I mean, you know. Yeah, the people who hired... The yeah, of course. I, I don't think, you know, Nick Lolota sat down at his laptop and created this this flyer. I Maybe mean, he you know. used ChatGPT. Yeah. But, you know, this is actually a difficult thing to create. I mean, there's a lot of detail that goes and into And what's this. the um, surrender? So he, so and he again, with specific detail, uh, Nick Lolota writes, the Schumer... Lackford bill is a surrender, not a solution. Rather than compelling the Biden-Harris administration to take meaningful action, it merely reaffirms existing powers without introducing anything new. Worse, he says, it effectively allows 5,000 illegal crossings daily and pours billions of taxpayer dollars into sanctuary cities without holding them accountable for any substantial policy changes. That's pretty specific. Yeah, it is. And he gives a little asterisk here that says, check the facts, and he gives an actual, um, an actual reference to check. And, yeah, you know, but that asterisk is where? Next to what? What word? Uh, do, 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 do. 5,000 illegal crossings daily. daily. There you go. Right? So, I mean, I, I still wish this was on a TikTok or a YouTube or... Yeah, but not people, not many, it can't be that way. This is, Yeah, it can't, can't be TikTok or YouTube or anything. It has to be um, either sent via text message. Text it, message or email, yeah. I used to get text messages from the I get, RFK. I, I get it all the time. I get, um, like, I, do the survey, do the survey. Oh, I did a survey. Yeah, they asked me some questions. So, so this one, so I have to tell you, Rebecca Casse, like, I don't know that much about local politics, but after seeing this, whoever wrote this for Rebecca Casse, I won't be voting for her because I feel like this is a lot of nothing. But Nick is, uh, he, he's coming across as a Republican, and he, she is coming across as a Democrat. Uh, yeah, well, well, the only reason why, because this is red down here. Lot, but this is not, red. Yeah, and that's blue. Oh, I, I didn't put, I didn't make that connection. Oh, yeah. So he's a Republican and she's a Democrat. Yep. Like, listen to this. I'm not going to vote for any Democrats anyway. But so listen really to matter. this. Work with our law enforcement to improve and maintain public safety. What what else are you going to do? This is such a waste of words. Like, of course. I will not vote for Rebecca Casse. Work with our law enforcement to enforce. Our law enforcement to improve and maintain public safety. What else is law enforcement going to do? do? Right. Why would you even write this? Like this. That was stupid. This is, this contributes this to This is a lazy, change. this is lazy. And it all this is to lazy. Change. I won't vote for Rebecca Casse. Yeah, it's all lazy. It's all laziness. It says almost nothing. And what's really interesting with him is that he only has she has most of her stuff, and it's a bigger paper. It's bigger, bigger. Right? And there's no f really one photo here, one photo of him here, and this is all other people. Like I have no idea who the hell they took pictures of. Right. It's just random fluff. Right. It's a bunch of shit. I don't know what that is. Oh, right. great. Oh, you take photos well, or you don't. I don't even know what she looks like. Is this her? I don't I'm know. I'm assuming. We don't even know. Yeah, we don't know. Like, don't where know. are you? But when I got this, and I looked at this, I made a mental note. Don't vote for Rebecca Casse, because she has so much writing about nothing. Right. But then I saw this about oh, Nicola Lota. There you go. Facebook, Instagram, and X. He right. has it on here. She probably does, too. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, she has it, too. So, they do have it. And she says, every New York voter can request a mail-in ballot. <laughs> <laughs> Scan here or visit the link. Hey, guys, I'm Joe. And I'm Jordan. And we're just two guys talking. talking.